The U.S. surges past 24 million coronavirus cases and closes in on 400,000 deaths. The White House is calling on the state of Florida to step up testing. Now, in its latest report, the White House Coronavirus Task Force recommended that Florida require some people to get tested regularly. And that number included weekly tests for all K-12 through teachers. News 4 Jacks reporter Joe McLean is joining us live. And Joe, that report also encourages required testing on college campuses? Yes, not only teachers as well, students here on college campuses, as well as older students in middle and high school. That's a recommendation from the White House Coronavirus Task Force. The goal being to more quickly identify those asymptomatic virus carriers that may not have gotten tested otherwise, and of course, to keep the virus off the campus. In last week's White House Coronavirus Task Force report, the group said the state of Florida is in full COVID-19 resurgence. The surge likely due to a new hyper-spreading variant of SARS-CoV-2. The task force recommends, quote, all K-12 teachers and older students, community colleges and universities should require weekly testing as it dramatically decreases COVID-19 viral spread by identifying and isolating the asymptomatic individuals as well as symptomatic individuals and allows for contact tracing. It's just a recommendation, one which Governor Ron DeSantis has shown no sign of following. But to find out what it would look like, I reached out across the country to the University of California in San Diego. Dr. Robert Schooley heads the university's Division of Infectious Diseases and says the campus has been doing aggressive testing since last spring, but in December started requiring weekly tests for those on campus after break. So we increased our testing frequency to weekly, and indeed what we saw were a large number of cases uh, the first uh, week uh, that came back from vacation. Well, we have had on campus, uh, and by that I mean in classrooms or in dormitories, as far as we know, not a single case of transmission. The campus installed COVID-19 test vending machines around campus, which students and teachers use free of charge to swab themselves and turn in at a drop box. An extension of the school's phone app delivers results within 18 hours, according to Schooley. He says the program was costly, but... You could also argue that uh, investing in uh, the testing made it possible for our students to be here safely, for us to keep our research operations going and do what universities do. Now, it's unclear what the cost of such a program in, uh, put in here would be, but uh, Schooley said because of the economy of scale, uh, processing a high volume of tests like this would make it possible and also, he says, less cost costly than the alternative of shutting down uh, altogether until full vaccination takes place. Reporting live tonight, Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.